Hi everyone, it's a Wednesday, so that means it's an Ask Finola How Day, okay? So, welcome to episode 33 of Ask Finola How, and today's episode is all about planning, because it's something that I'm asked, and this is a collective question from so many entrepreneurs, right? And the fundamental question is, as I read it, why do I need to think about quarterly planning, and does it really make a difference? And that's kind of what I want to discuss with you today um, and the essence of quarterly planning. And it is an interesting one because the challenge that's faced by so many of you is that it takes so much effort to actually put go into planning that when you actually get around to doing something, you've run out of steam. And so many times things happen that the plan just seems too aspirational or too um, uh, unachievable that you give up planning and you don't do it again. And often when, and this struggle often comes from planning when it came originally from banks, when you're looking for loans or you're looking to go for grants for state, from state agencies and things like that. And you go through all of this, this language and this filling in of boxes that don't actually connect to uh, a day-to-day -day business and it puts people off. The counterpoint of that is is that when you don't plan, by, by your very nature as an entrepreneur, you're a doer. So you actually just want to get things done. But when that happens, what invariably happens is you get on this treadmill of action that just becomes actually mindless action that is driven by something that came into your email, text message you got, somebody pulling at you, always pulling at you, and it becomes this never ending loop that doesn't actually help you carve the path, carve the future for your business. It doesn't create a space where your dreams can be made real, can be made possible. Planning is necessary for that. So as an entrepreneur and this tendency towards just the doing, 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 this becomes this treadmill, okay? And no matter what your definition of success is, and I will never ever seek to define that for you because this is always a personal choice, but a treadmill never equals success. It never leads to a fulfilled life, a healthy bank balance. It just is a mindless action. And this is the first thing that I would say to you about planning is to let's the beauty of the quarterly plan is that it starts to break down for you. But let me get back to the planning idea. So first of all, what it does is it takes you out of this treadmill, this loop of never ending pulls at your time where somebody else makes the call on your time. Planning actually starts to put the choice back into your hands and successful entrepreneurs always plan. And they always plan because they know they are very, very clear on what they do on what they want from their business. They have this clarity, okay? And I like this idea of reframing planning into an act of choice. It is a moment, a three hour moment or a one hour moment, however much time you spend to it, a moment where you make a choice for what you want your business to look like. And when you make a choice for what you want your business to look like, you actually start to make, to prioritize what needs to happen first in order for that business to look like that. So really start to reframe this thing of planning becomes your act of choice. This is your free will in your business where you choose the reality of what your business looks like. And that's what successful entrepreneurs do, okay? The other thing that I kind of want to say to you about planning is that annual planning is fundamental. Like five-year planning, I'm a believer in five-year plans, one-year plans, and 30-day plans. Because you, you basically start to uh, start in a visionary space, and then you break it down into a one-year space, because we like to think operationally in one-year spaces because we're entrepreneurs. But then if, you, if that annual plan is directly connected to your vision, that reality that you want to, to create for your business. If your annual plan directly feeds into that, and then your 90-day plan, that is that quarterly plan, then feeds into your annual plan. 
It's about connecting the dots between everything, connecting the dots so that you have a reality that you love to live in, you know? So one of the things that we've learned over the years, um, anybody who works in this space is that entrepreneurs like this in-between space. If you start to think of this in-between space between the thinking and the doing, and this space is often this 90 day world because in a 90 day world, you are able to make choices of what's important and you're actually still in kind of a doing space. So it's not so aspirational. It's not so kind of airy fairy. It feels very practical. So 90 day plans can actually be that bridge between the today and the future that you, the reality of the today and the future that you want to create. And this is a 90 day world. And we know that humans actually work best in a 90 day world. Human entrepreneurs, I should say, like to see in this 90 day world because it's something that's kind of achievable, manageable, that you can actually, you can actually see it happen. So in this 90 day world, that means if you connect it directly to what you decided for your annual plan, it makes, it gives you space to prioritize the things that matter. And it also helps you course correct. 90 day plans mean you don't go past that deadline that you set for yourself and go, oh no, I failed again. What it happens is it gives you the freedom to course correct. It gives you the freedom to choose what's important. It gives you the freedom to make sure that it's connected to that annual plan. And therefore that space, that lovely quarterly space that's in between the strategic long-term thinking and the everyday things that pull at your time. It is this beautiful space, space that actually feeds the vision for your business. And I highly recommend it. Um, there's a skill to creating this night to day world that I want to talk to you about today. And I do this, I decided to do this last year, which is to create a space that anybody can join me for a live free live workshop. Um, and it happens, we'll do it at the last month before the next quarter. And we're doing that this month in this quarter too. So on the 24th of March, I'd love if you could join me. Uh, at 6 p.m. Irish time, and we're going to do a live workshop and we're going to help you build because it's a doing workshop. I like doing workshops where we integrate that thinking and doing and help you get test those ideas out with other entrepreneurs just like you. So I'd love if you could join me at six o'clock next Thursday evening and I'll show you how to create a 90 day world that actually has an impact on your business. So Join me then. There's a link in the bio and I look forward to seeing you then. Take care. Bye.